Uh, well, Chris Donahue joins us. Uh, I've known Chris for many, many years. We're in our master's program together, and he talks about World Youth Day 2023, which is in Lisbon. Uh, Chris, thanks so much for being with us. How are you doing? I'm doing great, Jay Bishop. Good to see you, by hey, Chris. Thank you for having me. Yeah, it's hey, it's great to see you. Great to catch up. We we talked a little bit before the show, but here in New England, it's hard to believe that summer plans for 2023 are underway. Tell us a bit about World Youth Day, where it's going to be held, and and really the craziness of World Youth Day. Sure, I'm happy to. It's funny. In, there's snow in the forecast today, so to, <laughs> it's a great day to be thinking about you know August in Lisbon. It, it's, yep. a, it's a beautiful place to be at. Um, we're really excited about about this World Youth Day. It was originally scheduled to be in 2022, but obviously with everything going on in the world, uh, it had to be pushed back. So the dates for the for this World Youth Day were only recently confirmed. Um, there, it's going to be August. Uh, August 1st to August 6th in 2023 in Lisbon, Portugal. Um, World Youth Day is a, is a phenomenal event. I don't know, have either of you been? I've, yes, World I've Youth been to World Youth Day oh. before. Yes. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's funny. This is the 17th International World Youth Day will be at Lisbon. Uh, the first one was in Rome in 1986. Pope John Paul II began mm -hmm. this uh, invitation of, of the youth of the world to gather together with the Pope and with the bishops around the world to, to pray and to celebrate uh, the, the faith that we have and, and the community that we have as a church. I mean, really, the, the, the universality of the church is on full display at World Youth Day, both its universe, universality and its youth because the church is forever young, right? Mm -hmm. um, even though we might be. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't go there, Chris. Okay, yeah, don't right. go there. Um, you know, and a lot of people in the U.S. remember Denver. Uh, in the, uh, that's where in I was. Yeah. Were you there? Yeah, yeah I was there. So, so if you can imagine, if you've ever been in, had an experience where you get a group of, of faithful Catholics, faithful Christians together, and they're praying and they're, they're celebrating, you know, how exciting that can be. And it doesn't have to be many people. Uh, multiply that now by one, two, three million young people, all gathered in one place, filled with the joy of the Holy Spirit, filled with love of their Catholic faith, excited to be with each other and with the Holy Father. It's a phenomenal experience. It, for many, it's a life-changing experience and certainly something that uh, can have profound impact on the faith life of, of anyone who attends or participates. So we're really excited about it. It's, um, uh, we're, Pope Francis will be there, Cardinal Sean will be with us. So. Um, we're excited about it. This gathering, too, of course, requires a lot of planning. I know that the World Youth Day Lisbon logo and anthem have been selected from entries that are, are for in this competition. And also, uh, you know, you, too, I'm sure, are putting a lot of work into preparing for it. How is it that you can keep the excitement up, even though it's so far away? <laughs> that well, that is a, a challenge, isn't it? And, it? and it's exciting to be able to connect with people who have been. So, so people who have been to World Youth Day, that that excitement just continues, and they carry that over, and and they're a spark for others. Um, la our last World Youth Day, which was the first one I went to, was in Panama in 2019. That was a little different because it was in January. So the numbers were, especially from around from where we are, uh, was a little lower. Um, so a lot of people who may have gone to Poland in 2016, that's probably the, the most recent, truly you know, massive World Youth Day like, like we anticipate happening in, in Lisbon. So we're talking about it. We're sharing stories about it and pictures about it. We're um, inviting people. And, and we really look at this, uh, as I said, with it being pr uh, you know, changed for a year. Uh, believe it or not, our planning has been compressed because we typically have longer period of time to prepare and get people ready. Uh, I like to think of it in, in two phases. We're in the phase one, which is promoting, getting the world the word out, let people know World Youth Day is happening, a little bit about the, the country of Portugal, the city of Lisbon, you know, that it's a safe place to travel to, that you know, we have enough experience now that we know how to, how to do this. Uh, the other thing I haven't even mentioned, which is so exciting for this World Youth Day, we're about an hour and a half away from the Shrine of Fatima. And that will be part of our, our trip as well. So, um, you know, being able to get people who maybe have wanted to visit Fatima, who have a devotion to Our Lady, uh, it's really just keeping them talking about that. That's just an exciting time to do this. So I said we're we do this in two phases. This, this is phase one of promoting. And we're really encouraging people in parishes, uh, youth groups, schools, and campus ministries, and families to consider this, to pray about it. Is this something that you're feeling the Lord might be calling you to participate in? Um, and in and, and many of our parishes, we tend to deal with leaders. So, so get a group together, uh, put a group together and begin that process of, of praying and, and planning 
fundraising is a big part of this. So we need to really be able to keep doing that. So we keep talking about it, we remind people about it, and, we're, uh, and, and we just keep it going. Well, as I'm talking to you, Chris, I'm trying to figure out how I can get my son to this, because he would absolutely love it. Uh, if people have questions about how they can do this planning, unfortunately, we're out of time. We, who okay. would they contact, and how would they do it? So I, I invite you to come to our, our website, bostoncatholic.org forward slash WID 2023. That's bostoncatholic.org forward slash WID 2023. Has all the information for our trip. There's also the lisboa2023.org. Those are the two websites. Chris, always a pleasure. Best of luck. I'm sure we'll be talking more as it gets closer and closer. Looking forward to it. Good to see you both. Hey, Thanks, and I'm glad, you, I'm glad your mother-in-law gets the magazine. Oh, she, oh, hi to Mary Blake. She'll kill me <laughs> for saying your name out loud, but <laughs> she's Thanks. a big fan. Thanks, Chris. Thanks,